Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install screencast keys on Blender 3. Okay I'm going to go ahead and open up the web browser and I'm going to go to this page here on GitHub. I'll put a link to this same page in the YouTube description. When you get to here you need to scroll down past this section here and you need to go to all releases and click on release page here. When you click it you'll notice that it says version 3.6 but it says it's for Blender 2.93 but um, I've also tested this and it actually works on Blender version 3 as well. So let's try and get it working. We'll go down here and click screencast key zip file. So I'm going to click that. It's going to download the zip file. And let's just drag this to the side. And we'll open up this folder on my desktop. And we're just going to drag this into here like this, right? So we'll just drag this in here. And we need to now uh, close the web browser and we can go ahead and open up blender so here's blender 3 i've just installed that recently and we're going to click on general here then go over to edit and go to preferences and click on the add-ons here and then click install and we'll go to my desktop and we'll go to this folder and we'll select the zip file that we just downloaded and click install add-on here and then we'll go ahead and tick this option to tick it off and you can see that the screencast keys is now enabled. So let's go ahead and close this and we'll close down Blender and then we'll open it up again one more time. And this time when we open it, we can just left click anywhere. So it's got the default scene and we're gonna press the letter N on our keyboard, letter N. So when we press the letter N, we'll get screencast keys options here. We're gonna click here and enable it. And then when we start to click, we don't really see anything happening here. You see, nothing seems to be happening. We don't see the screencast keys here. So I think there's a little bug in this software that still needs to be ironed out. But what we'll do is go over to viewport view here, this view tab, and we're just gonna change the focal length slightly. Change the focal length, um, just set it to something like 53, and then go back um, and change this back to 50. And now you can see it appear down here, can you see? Now you can see it. So I don't know why that is, but there's a little bug in there, but that's how I managed to resolve that issue. Just adjust the focal length and then set it back to 50 uh, millimeter and it should work. Now you can go ahead and tweak this. So I like to make it a lot bigger, the mouse itself. And then if we um, click on the, uh, let's see, let's click on the, uh, where is it? We want to click on the hold status and do event history and hold status. So now you can see the text that appears on your clicks as well. We can make that a lot bigger. And you can play around with the margins. Normally I set the margins to like two. So then when we click uh, or we do multiple actions, there's a little gap in between the actions, right? And then the display time, I normally set that to something like five seconds. And then the max history, I normally set that to 10. So you can go and experiment with these. And I like to set the color to something like green so it kind of stands out or maybe a different color. Um, so it stands out maybe like a red so it stands out quite clear that's kind of an orange uh, you can just go and experiment with these you can show last operator here um, and then the label and the id so this is pretty much what i do here to set up screencast keys and that seems to be working so we'll just go ahead and close down blender let's just close it and we won't save anything here we just click um, don't save and let's just try and boot it up one more time and let's just make sure it works on the second boot. So we'll left click outside here, press the letter N, go to screencast keys. The settings are the same as before. We'll turn it on and now you can see it's working. Yeah. So there's that little bug in there. I'm not sure, um, you know, how to resolve that particular, that little particular bug, but these are the typical settings that I have. And in here you click view, adjust the viewport, go back to screencast keys and you should see it. And it's set to 20 by 20. You can set it at a lower ratio to like zero by zero. And then it will sit right in the bottom left hand corner here, which is probably the best position. Okay, let's go ahead and close down the Blender 3 software. And you can actually delete the zip file. You don't really need it. Let's close this down. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.